Atiku Abubakar, the former vice president of, Presid of Nigeria and leader of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, has urged all the support groups to actively mobilize in support of the party's success in the upcoming governorship elections in Bayesa, Kogi, and Imo State. These three states are set to hold elections to choose new governors this Saturday. In a statement issued by the leader of Atiku Abubakar support group, Honorable Dimeji Fabi in Abuja on Monday, it was emphasized that the Waziri Adamawa underscored the critical importance of securing victories for the PDP in this state. Honorable Fabi further stated that the former vice president expressed confidence in the vision, experience, and capability of all three PDP candidates to lead the party to success in their respective upcoming elections. The statement says, His Excellency Atiku Abubakar Waziri Adamawa, GCUN, has directed that all Atiku support groups with formidable structures in Kogi, Bayesa, and Imo State should swing into action by mobilizing their members to support the People's Democratic Party in these respective states. Members should ensure that they pull all structures by voting for the party's candidates, His Excellency Senator Doye Diri of Bayesa State, Senator Sam Ayanwo, Sam Daddy of Imo State, and Senator Dino Milaye of Kogi State. He said, there's no doubt that our party has put forward very formidable candidates with strong character, experience, and capacity to lead the state. The performing governor of Bayesa State, Governor Doye Diri, is a shining example for the PDP. Therefore, all Atiku supporters, including the admirers, followers, and members of our great party, must come out in mass to vote for all the PDP candidates and protect their votes, Atiku said. <clears throat> a lot needs to be done in this country. Hmm. A lot needs to be done. And it has to be start from the center. Because whether PDP, whether APC, uh, there, there's already a template that all of them are following. There's already a template because what I have said is that no matter how good a how good a, a, a governor, a governor is, or maybe let me say governor, let me let's even let's stop at that. No matter how good a governor is, you see that uh, when they talk about a uh, oh what and what that particular governor or that person has done, it does not reflect in the welfare of an individual in the country. That is what I have I have come to realize. Unfortunately, whether we have been bastardized over the time, we have been brainwashed, we have been you know, we have been oppressed in many ways. The right thing are not done at the right time. You see all the policies, you see all the constitutions, you see all the laws in place. They are just zigzag. And it will be difficult for an individual as a Nigerian to get the reward of democracy as it ought to be. You begin to ask yourself, you as a Nigeria, you just leave the country, you go to another country. And when you go to another country, you feel the sense of belonging, the sense of you being a human being. But in Nigeria, that is not what it is. A lot of things are being held so tight. Whether PDP, whether APC, we have seen that these are the things, you know, they, you see that the only the politicians are getting the reward or getting the dividends of a democracy. In all of this, people will still come out, you know, just like uh, the governor of Bayesa is being praised. You begin to ask yourself, what has the people gained? What have they gained? Wiki, that was the governor of River State, go and hear the billions of Nara they spent. They will tell you about projects, about a, a bridge and what have you. Has that transformed the lives of the people? If an individual cannot get it, if an individual does not feel sense of belonging, who in this country, maybe I don't know about the Northerners, but apart from the Northerners, who in this country, in all these states, that you think that people are not leaving the country despite the fact that they said they have done this week. Of course, we can't see them. Our, our politicians are so sophisticated in terms of spending and leasing, living a, 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 a luxurious life. But when you come back to the country, the country is nowhere to be found. Hmm? 
nowhere to be found. Can you imagine? <laughs> and meanwhile, APC, of course, Tinubu, they are trying to get the states. Yeah, we have to get to the states. We have to do this. We have to do that. Now, they said that Tinubu now go clear the suffering of Nigeria. So, but he came and started inflating, uh, inflating uh, pain, hardship on the Nigerian people. What are we gaining as a people under Tinubu? Does he really care? Or he just always come, you know, he talks like a 419, like a scammer. He will always talk or say what you would like to hear. That is what he will just say whatever he wants to hear. You, he feels that you can hear. You want to hear. And that ends it. And the suffering continues. I don't know. It's not, it's, that, is, that is not how it should be. That is not how it should be. People will rush, 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 rush. They want to vote, want to this and that. At the end of the day, all to what? All to no avail. So guys, let's say your opinion and have your safe on this. Thank you.